My parents have had a lot of time to get used to to get used to my work. I remember the first time I sent them a tape, actually, which was a tape from a live performance. The performance was of the shaved and the melon pieces. And um, so my mom got the videotape and they watched it. And uh, I called her and I, you know, I asked her, oh, so you watched the tape, you know, what did you think? And she said, oh, you know, I watched it. And, you know, I, there was dialogue, so it was really hard for me to understand what was going on. So, but your father watched it twice and, uh, but he never mentioned any of it to me, so <laughs> so I actually at that point had no idea how they felt about my work, but was pretty much was pretty much petrified. Oh no, are you kidding? He's never he still never talks about my work, you know. So I made the piece, you know, the oh piece gosh. with Yvette that, you know, mirrored the fountain piece. And I decided that, you know, that it wasn't finished. Like this was sort of, the idea was right, but that it just didn't have, you know, is there something that was, it wasn't finished for me. So then I thought about, you know, who in the world would for me be the worst person to do this with? And I decided it would be with my parents. So, you know, because it's this very horrible, intimate thing. So then I called my mom and, you know, I was really nervous and I was like, oh, I have this idea for this piece um, and I'd really like you and Ba to be in it, um, my dad. And, um, and so I, I explained it to her, uh, you know, what she had to do, what it was. Um, then he gets on the phone and I explain to him what it is. And, um, he said, oh, you know, well, I said, well, mom said you don't like to eat onions, so, you know, I wanted to ask you. And he said, oh, well, once in a while is okay, so. So then, you know, so then we did it, and, um, um, I mean, really, when it comes down to it, you know, it's so horrifying to eat an onion and be crying and in miserable pain, like, you know, kissing your father and your mother is really not an easy deal at that point. I mean, it becomes like a part of the process, you know, it just becomes from bad to worse and worse and you know it's all relative really anyways <laughs> Maybe particularly the uh, eel piece that you mentioned before. Um, the eel piece where uh, I'm laying on the ground and there's the camera above me and um, live eels get put into my shirt. Um, and I've done, I did that a couple times live. And um, uh, when I did it in New York, um, you know, the, when, when my photographer came out and, we were, and he was helping me to put eels in my shirt. Um, and you know, some people started to get a little like, I think maybe upset, you know, that the eels were being harmed or that they were, you know, maybe in pain, I don't know, or that so something about it was very cruel. Um, and I think people responded to the fact that, uh, uh, you know, it's not really culturally acceptable um, in the States to, you know, physically harm animals or to, you know, do it outside of 
uh, a slaughterhouse or something like that. So I think that yeah, that sort of made people uncomfortable, or you know, that they interpreted as, as in this way that was like uh, uh, cruel to animals. I mean, which it is. I mean, it it was. You know, it was quite a cruel piece. Masochist, um, I don't know, you know, because it's not like really pain, you know, discomfort, but, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I think that uh, discomfort is something that's relative too, you know, I mean, really it's uncomfortable for reasons that, uh, that we've created, you know, uh, so which really uh, speaks more to the general culture really than, you know, to specifically the actions that I'm doing.